Building Tools add-on. Download the Building Tools add-on from GitHub. Installation. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and click Install. Find and select the Building Tools zip file and click Install Add-on. Lastly, enable the add-on by checking the box. Open the sidebar by pressing in and go to Building Tools tab. As always, before the construction of any building, we need to start with creating a floor plan. You have six types of floor plans to choose from, and each one is customizable. Now the real fun begins. Make sure you are in the edit mode, and in order to add the first floor there is no need to select or click on anything than the Add Floors button. Very fast and easily you can add more floors, customize their height, or even add stabs and columns. If you suddenly decide to increase your floor count, you need to go to the Face Selection mode, select the top face of the building, and click Add Floors. Select the top face again and let's add a roof. There are three types of roofs. None of them include the chimney or the possibility to add a roof window, but they can still buy you more time. Choose and select where you want to add your balcony and press Add Balcony. You will get another panel where you can find three types of railing and many other adjustable settings. Stairs settings include the same type of railing as the balcony with many other possible adjustments. If your mesh starts looking a bit funky after adding a door and playing with the settings, make sure to adjust the height of the door. You can have a rectangular or circular type of window. Do you need a jail type one? Not a problem. Multi-group gives you the possibility of adding doors and windows at the same time. The order of the elements you control by using W for windows and D for doors in the components input. I kept on getting an error message only while trying to add an arch. Maybe at the time you are using this add-on, the arch is working fine. You can add a custom geometry to your building walls, windows, or doors. It won't work with the roof. I tried. There is another weird error in this add-on which for some reason doesn't let you customize your first added geometry. It will work with any next one after that, but not the first one. Material tools are very handy and can help you assign the materials in no time. You are able to see them inside the solid view, but I would still recommend you switch to the material or rendered view instead. Besides being able to assign all the materials to each part of the house, you can add a color to your customized geometry as well. Those are three very fast made and simple buildings that I created just to show you a few examples of how the elements could be used and look combined together. Thank you for watching.